four and the runners left Vagur Vaur by Llangurig early this morning on their 69 kilometer journey over the Cambrian mountains, making their way towards Rhandir Moin. Less elevation today, but those legs will be feeling it. The shoes will feel as if somebody's put lead in them, but they will be inspired along the way by these wonderful views. But it's not only the runners who are inspired by this wonderful adventure. So my name is Debs McCart, um, I'm called the artist in residence and I'm painting and drawing and sketching the runners and the beautiful scenery just to get a kind of a, a different slant on the event. We've always had lots of photographers and video people, which has been brilliant, but Shane just asked me if I could come and do something a bit different. So mainly watercolour because it's quick, it dries quickly, almost a bit too quickly in this heat. It's very adaptable and it's got a kind of an element to it that you can't control it. You have to let it do its own thing. You get lots of happy accidents and that's what I like about it. You definitely know what the runners are going through. Uh, it helps getting into places I know they're going to come up. Um, and you just get a feeling for the event. So. That definitely helps. Alongside the art, this race has also given a group of scientists from Swansea University, my hometown, a rare opportunity to study runners in a multi-day endurance event. So loads of my teaching, loads of my research is based on evolutionary biology and where humans came from and the, the adaptations that we have. So this is quite literally something that, that fascinates me in terms of my research. Um, tiny sort of tweaks and things we've had along the way. And I've teamed up with friends and colleagues at Swansea University, uh, Nico and, and Laura Mason, and they're both within the sports science department. And something they've said is they don't typically have access to people doing cumulative endurance events like this for various reasons. Um, so we're doing a pilot study, and we've been doing it over the last 12 months now, looking at the changes that I've gone through, the average person, um, to take on something like this, um, in terms of VO2 max and oxygen consumption, right through to uh, lactate buildup and changes in heart tissue as well. So they've come along with me this week, and every morning, every night, they are taking bloods, taking urine, <laughs> making me jump on force platforms, um, to see how those changes are accumulating over the week. Well, the pull test is a test of strength. So he, he's pulling, but he's using his legs, his shoulders, his back, his arms. So it's a really good test of the whole body strength, uh, as well as how quickly he can produce that strength. So we measure it by that blue thing on the ground, which is called a force platform and it measures how fast he can pull uh, a thousand times a second. So it gives a very, very accurate measure of his muscle function. Tussex, tarmac, tears, that's been the story of day four. And by now, the athletes are beginning to realize that the competition isn't against the other runners. It's against that quiet voice in the back of their mind saying, you can't do this. But by now, they're beginning to believe in themselves. And another added bonus to this day is that there's a pub at the end. Be rude not to join them.